Bears and garbage do not mix. Uh, the, the same problem that we have in the U.S. is the same is the problem they have over there, is that bears and garbage just don't mix, and they have lots of bears, and they have lots of people very close, which means lots of garbage. Fish and game conservation educator Greg Lozinski's interest in the dumpster problem began when he visited Slovakia researching ancestral connections. His great-great-grandfather came from this mountainous area in the northern part of the country. As a member of the educational branch of the Interagency Grizzly Bear Committee, Greg recognized the danger posed by these old dumpsters to both the bears and the communities adjacent to the high Tatra Mountains. What we figured out is if we get one of those dumpsters over here, we can maybe modify it and then send those modifications back to keep the bears there out of trouble. The container was provided by Mevco, the Slavic trash container company. It was shipped courtesy of the Slavic Wildlife Society to America. It was transported from Salt Lake City to West Yellowstone by the Idaho Department of Fish and Game. We do scientific tests with penetrometers and all kinds of things, but the real test is that it has to spend an hour with the bears. And in this case, it failed like we knew it would, so... The container was then shuttled by Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks to the Canadian border, where Hall All, a Canadian firm that specializes in bear-resistant containers, took the container to their factory and modified it. The original modifications were successful in keeping the bears from getting into the container itself, but there was concern over leakage. Additional modifications were made to the container, and its final testing occurred on May 1, 2015, at the Grizzly Wolf Discovery Center in West Yellowstone, Montana. After over an hour of contact with the bears, no leakage happened, because the modifications withstood the bears' attacks. At this time, we're waiting for Hall All to create a final retrofit package that can be sent to Slovakia and manufactured by Mevco so that the containers in the high Tatras can be protected from bears. While the Canadians are modifying the container in North America, the Slovaks are continuing to work on internal modifications in Slovakia so that together they've hopefully created a container that is truly bear-proof. The project is an example of international cooperation, or as Greg likes to say, an international conspiracy to outsmart bears. The one commonality we all have is that we love wildlife. It doesn't matter what the language is or, or the, the history of the area, but people love the wildlife that's there and they don't want to see it lost.